time for France to lift its knee off our neck and put an end to this unjust oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization, and neocolonization have caused immeasurable suffering. It's time to put an end to this cycle of oppression. It's high time for France to leave us alone. It's time for France to take a cue from its European neighbors and learn a valuable lesson in independence. Germany is the leading economic power in Europe, significantly surpassing France, which is ranked as the third or fourth largest economic power globally. Germany does not exploit any country, any colony. I can mention Italy, I can mention Spain, who had colonies before, but who do not exploit anyone, who do not interfere, who do not impose leaders in their former colonies. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. What do you think about this small clip that you have listened to? I'm coming. Please give me time. I'll be back with another one. But when I listen to this video over and over again, something is telling me I might be wrong, that this is the reason why the newly elected president of Senegal was arrested because this provoke everything in France and the Western countries, including even America, even though he didn't mention America. You know, when you touch one, you touch all. It's only in Africa when you touch one, you touch individual. And that's why they had the right to move President Gaddafi, may he so rest in peace. I think this message that he was sending has waken something in them and tell them no 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 we need to get rid of this young man before he poisoned the rest so let's arrest him they can find anything and put it there that oh because of this because of that but i think this is the message that they got scared and they got him arrested once again, they got it wrong. Thanks be to God that he got amnesty because of the people on the street. You know, when we stand with one voice, nothing, nothing will turn us down. When Senegalese stand with one voice, when Niger stand with one voice, when they shout, when Africans back them, the unthinkable, happy. My question is, is he going to do what he said he would do? I asked that question before. See him together with the previous or outgoing president, let's call him outgoing president. I'm thinking, is he changing his mind? Don't forget, our former president, of South Africa went to jail for years and years. But when he came out, he changed. Yes, I was talking about uh, President Nelson Mandela. May he so rest in peace. When he came out from jail, his attitude changed. So let's listen more about this young man, what he said he would do, and we'll be following him closely. Thank you for your time. Leaders in their former colonies. On what grounds does France believe it can continue to impose leaders on us and make choices on our behalf? This must come to an end. And the emerging Africa, the African youth, the African elites, and the African diaspora all stand united in saying no, it cannot continue any longer. France's hypocrisy is evident and pervasive in daily life. Let's examine the cases of Mali and Chad as prime examples of this hypocrisy. In Chad, where the constitutional process has been interrupted, France applauded and its president visited to officially consecrate the new king's coronation ceremony. In Mali, where it is not the constitutional process that has been interrupted, but the transition process, France has condemned and even packed up its things to say that it is leaving Mali. That's hypocrisy. It's the double standard. It is the double language. Yes, they are always there for their interests, as we all know. You know, Mali, they will not get anything from there. The reason why 
Niger, they take Niger seriously, is the gas, the pipeline that is, that will connect the gas for them. That was why they were busy. They wanted to attack Niger, the double standard that he's talking about. Their interest is always 99.9%. .9%, but they will come and tell our leaders and lie to them that we are here to help you. Well, they are helping themselves. I'm glad that the youth are waking up. Seriously, I can't believe I'm seeing this now, but thank God and thanks to the internet, they are awakening. It's like wildfire. So now they are stopping us from spreading the news. If you notice, they are stopping a lot of people. So please, when you come across any news that you think is important, share it. It will wake other people up. One, two, ten people, it doesn't matter. We need to wake up. Please, let's listen to it more. Thank you for your time. Yves Le Drian, regarding the situation in Ivory Coast and France's decision to allow a third term, he provided a clear explanation. He stated that while he accepted the third term for Ouattara, he refuses it for Belarus. He emphasized that France has condemned the situation in Belarus and has actively encouraged the European Union to do the same. Ledrian explains that in Belarus, millions protested, unlike Ivory Coast, where there were no mass demonstrations on the streets. This is how France deals with African issues. Personally, we expect absolutely nothing from France. We desire her to cease meddling in our matters so that the people of Senegal can exercise their freedom of choice rather than being influenced by France's selection of a candidate using the tactics we are aware of. We begin by targeting individuals, adorning them with the legion of Yes, this is why sharing information is very, very important because if the people do not take on the street, even him will not be here today. If the people do not stand up, people, they, they, he will not be here today. Like he was giving an example about Ivory Coast. The people do not get the information. They do not get a leader that will stand and fight for them. So they were quiet and France imposed their leader on them. Nowadays that we have all learned from Niger, I will keep using Niger as an example because that's the latest one. We've learned from them that if we stand up, we can fight and we'll win. I don't think that nonsense will happen anymore. I'm sorry to use that word. It won't happen anymore. And they are stopping us for gathering, for uh, spreading the information, for telling people how it is. Sometimes when you use, they will ban you from some of this platform. So we have to be careful how we use certain ways. Sometimes they said you are, you know, spreading lies. Sometimes they say you are spreading hate. Sometimes they said you are spreading, you are encouraging, you know, the C word. But it's not that. People need to know what is going on. Because now we have way and means to spread the news. So they have to know. Please let's listen to our president more. I'll be back. Thank you. Strongly urge France to listen to the voices that speak to it about our plan for a more collaborative, fairer, and sustainable partnership between Africa and France. It is crucial that we work together towards a future that is equitable, just, and environmentally conscious. If she listens, I believe we'll have beautiful days ahead in our collaboration together. If he doesn't know how to cut it, thinking he can continue to function like in the time of our grandfathers, this African youth no longer accepts it. France must make preparations for a definitive break and completely withdraw from Africa. Africa belongs to Africans, not France. She belongs to no one else, neither China, nor the United States, nor anyone else. Yes, those are very, very, very strong wills. Not only to France, China, US, and the rest. Africa belongs to Africa. What do you think about this message? 
I think this is the reason why he got arrested. Because they don't want to know the truth. The truth has. Sorry. The truth has a lot. They don't want to know. This guy. Including the three amigos. My friends. I don't know what Africa will be. Julius Malema. Added to it. It will be. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. 2024. There's something in the air. That I feel it will favor Africa. Anyway. Thank you so so much for your time. Those who have been sharing my videos. Thank you so much. I've seen that WhatsApp. Is sharing more. God bless you all. My new subscribers. Thank you. And my returning subscribers. Even those who are passing by. Clicking on it. Please when you click. Stay with me. Thank you so much. Like the video, that's the only way YouTube will, you know, recommend it to others to hear about this channel. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate your comments as well. Whatever you think about this message, please leave a comment and others will learn from you as well. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,